Fred. Fred, Fred, Fred. Fred, oh. Fred on the red. Fred is so good. What's going on people? It's Kai here for another episode of Terrace Talk. As you can see, we're at the wonderful Wembley Stadium here for Ukraine against England. Our first international game, so it's going to be a big one. We're going to get the view of some fans, English and Ukrainians. So let's see what they're saying before the game. How do you think it's going to go? Uh, I hope it will be 3-0 Ukrainian win. I think it's going to be 3-0 England. Who's going to score? Harry Kane will score two and Bellingham. Kane, if you don't score today, I swear, the fans want you to score two at least. I hope that all will be harassed and we will win, but we will see how our situation will be. Question, you've got a star boy in your team, Modric. How do you think he's going to do in the Prem? He needs more time, he needs more time. But you see, he's very fast. He's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. But maybe it's not the best for Ukraine. Yeah, he's a very fast player. He's a good player. But maybe it's not the best for Ukraine. Yeah, he's a good player. I don't know, he reminds me a bit of Hazard, and Hazard had a big impact on Chelsea, so maybe he could have the same? Yeah, I think so, I think so. He, he has a um, like, uh, very high talent, you know. Is he the real deal? No, no. You don't think he's the real deal? No, I don't. You don't back him? No. Why? Because I, I just don't feel like he's been playing too well. New country, new team, give him time. Yeah, I'll give him time like, to see how good he'll be in a few months. We're going to talk about a United player. He's not the most popular United player, but he's popular for England. His name is Harry Maguire. What do you think of him? I think he's a slabhead. <laughs> <laughs> and he, des he deserves to be in the championship. In the championship? I don't care about his club form, so... And he's from Sheffield as well, so... Oh, don't be claiming Sheffield now, you Spurs fan. And should he be starting for England? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to be fair. Never let them down. Well, what about all the other centre-backs in the league, the English centre-backs that are doing well at their clubs? That are playing level. every week? Not at his level. Not at I, don't his think, level. I don't think they're at that level yet. What do you think of Harry Maguire? Well, he's the best player in the world. Heard it first. Ever. So today I'm here with... Morgan, Sydney, Brianna, Sylvia, Addy, Gabby, Devony, Claudia, Piper, Maisie, Delaney. And where are you all from? Ohio. 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 So why are you here in England, in Wembley, to watch an England game? For soccer. For soccer. For soccer. Oh. I want to talk about the Premier League real quick. Who do you think is the most overrated player in the league? Salah. Mohamed Salah. Yeah. yeah. Salah. Salah. Van Dijk. Oh no, no, maybe Salah. Not. Salah. Salah. So we've got Salah Amanda. Have we got something against Liverpool fans? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Liverpool players, actually. I'm going to say Saka because I'm a Spurs fan, but I'm getting so much hype about Arsenal at the moment. I mean, they deserve it, to be fair, but he played all the other game, but yeah, I'm going to say an Arsenal player, so Saka. C Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson, oh. I don't know anyone in the Prem, but I think it's like someone in like Bundesliga or something. Okay, okay. I think Mane's, um, Salio Mane's been a bit overrated. He's not in, in the Prem. I know, but that's what I mean. I just said Bundesliga. <laughs> I just said Bundesliga. Uh, I've got something here. It says, um, it's about Andrei Shevchenko. Oh, yeah. He says, um, football has helped a lot of people from Ukraine deal with what's happening. Has football helped you in any way? We, as Ukrainians, stumble upon a lot of people who just support us just as it is. And this is kind of the place where we can also feel so much support. We, can, we, we feel that people are on our, on our, other, our side, yeah, basically. Yeah. So it's, it helps me personally greatly. I can only imagine how it helps everyone else. All right, so who's the most underrated player? Fred, 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 Fred. Fred, oh. Fred underrated! Fred is so good. He's so good. I think Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. You think he's that good? Yeah, I think he's very good. I'm probably saying Newcastle player, to be fair. I'd say Miggy, because he got so much... Amirion, because he got so much abuse. Like Amirion, yeah. Abuse, well, well, he got it from Grealish, didn't he? Now he's just like, he's doing well. So, who's an underrated player, do you think, in the Prem? Kante. Kante? No, Kante gets his ratings. We love him. You're drawing out yeah. your own club rank. I thought underrated means good. Yeah. Gareth Southgate, he's taking his team pretty far. Um, this is probably going to be his last tournament coming up. Can he bring it home? He's got to now, I think so, yeah. Why not? Why not? He's had two cracks at it, three cracks at it already. Yeah, but each time, like, we're playing more progressive football this time, so I'm hoping anyway that this time it's going to be more, yeah. I think the issue is... Step further, I hope so anyway. What, what is that says for an England manager? I think he's had that connection with the fans. That was massive, you know, if you think about 2018 World Cup. You know, we're all back up, back up for it for the England team. I think Euros final, who, who can be that, you know? Uh, World Cup, it's just chance in it. He missed miss a penalty, could go in. No one to replace him at all. No, not yet. I, I have a controversial take. I think Mourinho could replace him and win a trophy. No! 
Absolutely no. No, no. no way. No? no way. Really? No. If he's the national manager, he's got all the best players in the country. Yeah, no. Smash him, mate. What Yo, he smacked them up, mate. Do you know what? You, know what Ukraine, down, when they had that first know. attack, yeah, they should have scored that. I'll give it to them. And fair play, they were louder than in England. I'll give them, I'll give them that. Yeah. They, were, they were louder than England, but do you know what? England brought it home, so do you know what? It's, it's fucking coming home. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. <laughs> I think Harry Kane's an absolute baller. Sa um, I think Saka's an absolute baller. And I, and I also think I'm going to make the England team one day because I'm an absolute baller. What's your name? My name's Alex Gainsford. God bless Ukraine as well. Like everything that's going on, like. Mm. I love you, Crane, man. Who's your man of the match? Harry Kane, I think. Yeah? Yeah, Harry Kane. Well, who's, who's scored the best goal? Saka. Yeah, Saka. Definitely, right? <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Who scored the best goal? Harry Kane. Harry Kane? Yeah. More than Saka's. More than Saka's? Yeah. It was my first ever match. Honestly, it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I loved it. Oh, I'm definitely going to be a, oh, I'm going to have a season ticket, honestly. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. I'm going to say, who's better, England women or England men? England women. England women. There you go. Yeah. They've actually won something, haven't they? Yeah. What's your thoughts on the game, sir? Uh, I don't know. Ukraine will win. I hope next time. And England just right. Good play. So I hopeful. So next game will be better. Right. That's it from me, guys, for another episode of Terrorist Talk. We went international with this game. England two, Ukraine nil. The fans are, have been in a joyous mood all day long. Even after the game, the Ukrainians have been perfect. The England fans have been happy with the win. That's it from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Jude Bellingham. Everybody, why, why does everyone like Jude? Why does, I think he's hot. <laughs> Jude Bellingham has some fans right here.